This is the finished results of our pecan candy. It's delicious. We made it out of pecan pie. Rolled them up, put them in a little old muffin, mini muffin pan. Baked them until they got bubbly. And we let them sit in the pecan pan. We let the pecan, um, we let them sit in the muffin pan until they got real firm. And then we took them out. I'm eating one. And look what it looked like, y'all. <laughs> it's delicious. It tastes good. I put a little topping on it. And it tastes real good. You can put a topping on yours. You don't have to. You can pack these up and put them in a little box and give them away. They are delicious. I love them. They got that little ooey goo in there. Look at that. That's a very good cookie, y'all. All you do is get you some um, pecan pie that's left over. Uh, go to the grocery store and buy a pecan pie in the freezing department. Let it throw out, roll it up in balls, and stuff them in that little muffin pan, that mini muffin pan, and let them cook for about 15 minutes and let them ooze out, and then let them sit in the pan for about 15 minutes till it's cool, and then you scoop them out, and here you go, right here. Ain't they cute? They are very good. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating, and thank you for coming to my channel. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another little tip. Another little cookie tip or a candy tip. It depends on how you want to serve it. But I use a serve like pecan uh, candy or pecan cookies. It's either or. Whatever they want to make it, that's what you tell them, you know. And they say, oh, these cookies are so good. Oh, these pecan candies are so good. You just go along with the flow with them. <laughs> that's what I do. What I did, the leftover pecan pie, like that. What I do is roll it up and put them in this little small teacup, this little mini uh, muffin cups, muffin pans. And then I roll them and I put them in the oven and let them get bubbly and let them stay. And then I take them out and we're going to show you what they look like when I get through. But just use your leftover pecan pie. Don't throw it away. Don't eat it. Don't try to force yourself to eat it. Just put it in the freezer and take it out. And roll it. Roll it like this. See what that gooey is right there? You roll that right there, that gooey. And then you place them in these little old muffin pans. The mini muffin pans. And you have a treat. Show you what it looks like when you come back. Okay. I'm going to remind you. If you do not have a Teflon non-stick pan... You need to spray it or pull oil in it so the candies or the cookies won't stick to this right here. So, I already went and made um, nine of them, y'all. Now, they made 12. So, what you do, you make sure with your leftover uh, pecan pie, you do this recipe and you're going to love it. So, I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 and let it get bubbly and then take it out and then we're going to see what we have. This is Sandra. I'll be right back. So you have to come back and remind you to make sure that you put um, some oil or some cooking spray if you don't have a Teflon pan like this. All right, they all gooey and wooey and whatever you want to call them. We're going to let them sit for about 10 minutes and we're going to take them out. But you want to make sure they are set before you take them out because you know the pecan pie has a lot of sugar in it and a lot of gooey in the pie and the crust what well, in the filling is real gooey so we want them to sit and form a little bit and then we're gonna take them out they look good don't they my goodness you can call these little candies pecan candies or you can call these little pecan cookies so we'll be out look at that oh that's mine right there with that little stuff coming out of it that's mine and that one is mine too so we're gonna let them sit for about 10 or 15 minutes so they get kind of form firm and then we make sure that they are ready to take out and put them on the plate be right back 